Hello, welcome to the Box Joy channel, and today we're going to be talking about weatherproofing your Kratky Outdoor Hydroponic Planter. Since 2008, people all around the world have been experimenting with this new form of hydroponics that's called passive hydroponics or the Kradke method. And they have been messing with the components that are required for it to work. Uh, and, and all of these things, the nutrient level, the how much light and everything, have basically been experimented indoors or out of the elements. And the, and the reason for that is the Kradke method cannot handle having rain get back into the container. And here at Box Joy, we have been uh, spending a great deal of experimenting time on that exact topic. So let me show you what I've come up with. So this was my first uh, attempt uh, last year in the spring. I took a Rubbermaid tote like this, it's a 10 gallon, and I built a wooden box around it uh, that sat here. And the lid that came with the tote was inverted so that's right side up uh, when I have it flipped over. And uh, it kind of created a gutter um, around the edge that I drilled a hole in and all of the water uh, uh, weeped out the outside of the container. And that is how I addressed uh, rain and it didn't work so great. Um, there, A, are uh, eight holes <laughs> in the lid. Um, it's domed, but I was surprised uh, all winter long um, uh, with uh, large plants, you can see they, they could get quite large. Uh, the water level never lowered, so the roots never got to have their full uh, glory of all of the air. So I kept on uh, addressing the topic. Uh, also, Rubbermaid discontinued this tote, so I had to let this go. Now these are just my trial gardens here. I've moved on. Enter second container, which is the ubiquitous food grade five gallon pail. So uh, this guy uh, would love to have some sort of domed top, uh, similar to what I was doing with the Rubbermaid. Um, and this is a, a lid that is sold as a seat for, uh, for uh, workmen that have a bucket around and they just want uh, to take a break. So these are mm, better part of $8. Uh, and then I've drilled a two inch hole for a net cup to be on the top of that. And they are domed. Um, but uh, this is just a little bit unfortunate that it costs that much money. Um, it does block the light, which is lovely. Um, so uh, I've uh, moved even further and uh, addressed the lid that actually comes with a five gallon pail. Um, and uh, these are excellent five gallon pails that are food grade uh, and they generally have a rubber gasket on the top. So they are made to last. So here's uh, what I've come up with, um, the bucket has the lid with three holes and you might ask why do you have them up in the corner but if you put them in like that fill it up and then you take a spacer and put it there then this makes the water level go right here and it dribbles over the edge so the only rain that would go into these holes would be directly going in through the net cup which really reduces the uh, amount of uh, intake so this is uh, oh the, the plastic bag here the plastic bag is uh, hand plastic so it is completely 100% opaque to light uh, transfer but it's white on the outside so uh, people uh, always are addressing their uh, vessel getting too warm so I think that this kind of breezy jacket I think it's 50 cents so um, and then you don't have to spend a bunch of time spray painting I do hit the top of these lids with uh, black spray paint, which doesn't touch any of the nutrients, um, but it does block the light. You can't have light get into the container because of algae. Um, and then I'll show you one last thing. So these are my hexagreen planters with uh, cedar clad edges. And I basically took that, uh, the idea of a domed seat. People have been doing uh, domed things with uh, like Home Depot garbage can lids. And then they plant uh, something around the top. It's 33 gallons. It's really uh, enormous. I'm focusing on smaller plants. Um, and uh, this is what, uh, what I've kind of come up with. It's a domed piece of plastic. Uh, I uh, am a woodworker by trade, so I have a shop here and I'm able to form this plastic uh, into a rain shedding shape uh, for the net cups. Uh, it's embedded into this uh, wooden box. The whole thing keeps all of the light out. 
uh, and it uh, seems to shed the rain uh, in a lovely manner. So I just thought I'd give you a little, uh, a little uh, a summary of this last year's um, challenges of keeping rainwater out. Uh, I hope it was useful. Please like and subscribe. I'll be making more of these videos on the regular, and thanks for joining. Thank you.